153 times in the year 2013, madmen entered churches and or other houses of worship and began shooting high-powered guns. This prompted FEMA to publish three guidebooks, one for schools, one for colleges, and one for houses of worship on what to do if and when a madman shows up with a gun. How do we get to this point in America? And I argue that we got here because Americans believe violence is effective. We depend on it. We trust that our guns will keep us safe. I saw it writ large on a bumper sticker in Virginia not long ago, peace through superiority in arms. Violence begets violence, that's not a rumor. It's a sad reality. And trusting one's gun for safety conveys two irreconcilable emotions. One is omnipotence and the other is fear. Strange bedfellows to be sure, but you probably noticed as I have that the most well-armed nations in the world and the most well-armed individuals are the most nervous and fearful of all. We're not meaner than other countries. They watch the same violent movies. They watch the same violent news. They play the same violent video games. And they too have large numbers of dangerously mentally ill people. They too have large numbers of angry folks. The only difference is between us and the rest of the developed industrialized world is we can get a gun any time we want. Kill somebody. And some of us dare to call that freedom. Do you think it's strange that these citizens of other democratic countries insist they're happy? Fulfilled and free. Are they delusional? Is it a miracle that their homes and streets are safe? America should be so blessed, so free.